In this video, we are going to explain how to create service profile for a group of users and each user may be on a different CVLAN. For the example, we are considering here a CVLAN range 1001 to 4050. So we are going to create a, sing a single profile for this range of VLANs, which is going to be deployed inside the individual VNT. So the step one, we need to do a one-time activity. We need to create a JPON service profile. So this service profile will be one-time activity and it will cover the range of VLANs. And in the step number two, we create the JPON connection per user or per CVLAN. So in this step, we select the ONT and apply the VLAN on the profile on that ONT. And in the step three, we do the L2 service. The, so this is again a one-time activity where we associate the entire range of VLANs with a single pawn put. So now we'll start off with the step number one, ONT. On the left side, we see a folder JPON. So under JPON, we see the folder service profile. So we can open on the new tab. So this shows the list of existing service profiles. So let me add a new service profile. So here I want to create a profile of some range. So I'm giving a name, easy to identify name, range 1001 to 4050. So the type of service is a VIP type of service. So one VIP uh, service type refers to the uh, single van which we create on the ONT. And input tag, we keep it as single tag. So single tag means we need to apply a VLAN inside the ONT. However, the traffic coming out of the ONT towards the client or the customer would be untapped. And the traffic coming towards the OLT pawn port from the ONU would be tagged. So if you choose this as untagged, it means we don't need to apply a VLAN inside the ONU. So we choose this as single tag and then we have options here for fixed bandwidth, assured bandwidth, or maximum bandwidth. Let us say we take the maximum bandwidth. So here this need to be in multiples of 64 and uh, I have applied here full 1G. So what this entry means is that the customer will be allowed to utilize a maximum 1G bandwidth and if there is not sufficient bandwidth available, he would be limited to a lesser band. So he will not be allowed to cross 1G. So there would be a automatic DBA applied on all the services. Okay, coming back to the VLAN range, my CVLAN, so single VLAN I need to apply on the ONT side. I need to choose this menu here. So 1001. So I choose this range 1001. This is the starting VLAN and my ending VLAN is 4050. The drop down menu. I choose this range and I move my cursor onto the menu here and I type on my keyboard the number 4050 and press the enter button. Automatically the number will be chosen 4050. See here that I have selected VLAN 1001 to 4050. The remaining settings are all default. Click on submit. Yes. Now we see the message. My service profile is created. You can even search the profile. So we see here. This is my service profile created. So service profile is basically a dummy template. This is not yet active or it is becomes active when you apply it to a connection on a ONT. Coming back here, step one is completed. Next is the step two. So I want to apply this on let's say ONT number 1121. I just verify whether my ONT is active. Go to maintenance, manage ONT. So it's 1121. This is the ONT ID. So come back here, come to connections. You can open a new tab. At this connections window, I click on 
add new connection. Here, I want to apply the connection for VLAN, say, 1001. I am applying here a data service VLAN. And here, I need to choose the service type. And then I choose the PON port number 2. And here, I want to choose the first OENT. On this ONT, I will choose this profile, the range. So we can see here, I have chosen the range profile. Automatically, the bandwidth is updated and the VLAN is updated. If I want VLAN 1001, it's already by default selected. So let's say I want VLAN 2000. For example, I click on the menu. I move my cursor on the numbers. I type the VLAN number 2000. So 2000 will be selected. So here I want VLAN 1001. So 1001. Go down here, click on submit. Click yes. It takes a few seconds for the software to write into the hardware. So we can see here that is a wait button here, a wait indication. So now I get the message successfully reported the connection. Now I go back to view all connections. I filter on the ONT 1121. You can see here on this date and time it's created. Now let us create a second connection. I want a new user. I want to create a connection on say VLAN 4001 or 4050. Now I click on the type of the service with and the pawn port to ONT number 1 and then the service profile range here. Here I go to the menu and type the number 4050. Select the number and click on submit. So don't click on the yes button multiple times. Click once and wait for the software to write into the hardware. Just a few seconds. I go back to my g Connections tab. I filter out my ONT. So we can see here I have created a connection for two different VLANs 1001 and 4050 using the same service profile. So I can do the same activity on a different ONT number also. I have completed the step number two. Now coming to the step number three, this is the L2 side. So this activity helps me to link the connection to the uplink port. I need to make a one-time JPON service. So where I will be creating the uh, flow point template. So I will go to L2 service. And here we can see service provisioning and then flow point template. Here I need to create a template for the range. CVLAN range. 1001. Let's go to 4050. Here I choose the type as CVLAN. And we can see here there's some guidance. If I want to mention a range, I can give hyphen 1001 hyphen 4050. Suppose I want to mention unique VLANs, say like 50, 60, I can give a comma here. I can give a comma. Uh, to mention unique VLAN numbers. So here I want a range. So I mention the hyphen. I click on create. So now we see that the template is created. So we can see here this is a template. So the entire range of VLANs uh, is mentioned here. Now this template needs to be associated in the service the pawn code. So let us say this is my service. So already a service exists. So in this service, for say pawn port 2, I want to associate the VLAN. So I click on add new flow point and then I choose the pawn port number 2. So 202 represents, represents pawn port number 2 or say 203 represents pawn port number 3. So on pawn port number 3, I choose the entire range of VLANs to be passed. So remaining are all default settings, I go ahead and create. We have shown you how to create a service for a range of 
in other section of the video we will show you how to create a end to end l2 service for a particular user so in this video we will close for now